It's an issue you know I care passionately about. So here is my position, loud and clear. I'm in favour of a nationwide ban on military-style semi-automatic assault weapons and high-capacity magazines. I want to close the gun show loopholes and require private dealers to run background checks on buyers at gun shows. And I'd like to see the president increase federal funding for mental health treatment for all Americans who need it. I think these are entirely reasonable reactions to the outrages that have occurred in America over the last few months. But tonight, I'll go head to head with a man who actually wants to deport me for having these very views. And over 104,000 Americans apparently agree with him. That's coming up. Pierce, I can't say uh, how much I agree with your opinion and what you've stated previously. I appreciate you having your First Amendment right, and I am, I am glad you're speaking out because that's exactly what we need. Yeah, anyone who's watched this show over the past few weeks knows I've taken a pretty strong stand on guns in America. It's not escaped the notice of supporters of gun rights, and it's led to a petition on the White House official website, no less. It's entitled, and I quote, Deport British citizen Piers Morgan for attacking Second Amendment. Take a look. More than 104,000 people have signed it so far. And joining me now is one of the people behind the petition, Alex Jones. He's host of The Alex Jones Show. Welcome to you. Pierce, thanks for having me. Why do you want to deport me? Well, we did it as a way to bring attention to the fact that we have all of these foreigners and the Russian government, the official Chinese government, Mao said political power goes out of the barrel of a gun. He killed about 80 million people because he's the only guy that had the guns. So we did it to point out that this is globalism and the mega banks that control the planet and brag that they've taken over in Bloomberg, AP, Reuters, you name it, brag that they're going to get our guns as well. They've taken everybody's guns but the Swiss and the American people. And when they get our guns, they can have their world tyranny. While the government buys 1.6 billion bullets, armored vehicles, tanks, helicopters, predator drones, armed, now in U.S. skies, being used to arrest people in North Dakota, the Second Amendment isn't there for duck hunting. It's there to protect us from tyrannical government and street thugs. Take the women in India. Your piece earlier on CNN I was watching uh, during Anderson Cooper's show didn't tell you that the women of India have signed giant petitions to get firearms because the police can't and won't protect them. The answer well, is, let's, let's hey, wait a minute, I have FBI yeah. crime statistics okay. that come out a year late, 2011. 20 plus percent crime drop in the last nine years. Real violent crime because more guns means less crime. Britain took the guns 15, 16 years ago. Tripling of your overall violent crime. True, we have a higher gun violence uh, level, but overall mugging, stabbings, deaths. You, those men raped that woman in India to death with an iron rod four feet long. You can't ban the iron rods. The guns, the iron rods, Pierce, didn't do it. The tyrants did it. Hitler took the guns. Stalin took the the guns. Mao took the guns. Fidel okay. Castro took the guns. Many... Hugo Chavez took the guns. And I'm here to tell you, 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. Doesn't matter how many lemmings you get out there on the street begging for them to have their guns taken. We will not relinquish them. Do you understand? And that's why you're going to fail and the establishment knows no matter how much propaganda, the republic will rise again when you attempt to take our guns. My family in the Texas revolution against Santa Ana, my family, was at the core on both sides starting that because Santa Ana came to take the guns at Gonzales, Texas. Pierce, don't try what your ancestors did before. Why don't you come to America? I'll take you out shooting. You can become an American and join the Republic. You finished? Yes, I am finished. You will not take my right. You go through background checks to get guns. How about Prozac? You know the number one. Oh, that's the big sponsor, isn't it? Or that whole class of drugs. Let me ask you a question. Oh, whoa, got to cut that off, don't you? Don't want to talk about the U.S. number one cause of death okay. is suicide now because they give people suicide Calm mass down. murder pills. Calm down. Your answers give more money to the psychiatrist Fine. and psychologist let's, to put more crazy people on drugs that make them kill people, Pierce. Let's try and have a debate here. Yeah. Answer me this question. Mm -hmm. I'm sick of the same old script here, bud. It's fine, bud. How many gun murders were there in America last year? Do you know? Uh, there were about 11,458, and about 74% of those were gang-related, gangbangers shooting each other. You get three and a half to 4,000. Okay, that, that wasn't the How question. many people died from infections in hospitals? 197,000. Let me just ask you a second That's question. right. How many gun murders were there in Britain How many year? great white sharks? No, how many... Kill gun people murders. every year, but they're scared to swim. Right. How many gun murders were there in Britain? A very year? low amount. I already went over those How statistics. Many? Do you know? Uh, it was only a few hundred. No, no. 
How many gun murders? I actually actually did pull up the statistics. Here, let me pull them out right here. I figured you'd do that. Gun murders. Oh, wait. In last UK year. violent crime, capital of Europe, London no. Telegraph. Here, let me it's give you more. It's quite a simple question. Well, that's the oldest. You're a very loud that's the old, man. No, no, that's the oldest Perry Mason noise. tactic to ask me some little factoid. It's not a, it's not a little factoid. I already said earlier, We're talking about England a has a lot lower gun crime rate because you me, took all the guns. Let me try exactly but my But you've point. got hordes of people burning down cities and beating old women's brains out every day. What a ridiculous They statement. arrest people in England if they defend themselves. That's on record. My God, you've got a total police state. Everybody's fleeing that country because the oh, you've had to flee here, bud. Why don't you I tell folks, here. yeah, you fled here. Hmm. Why don't you go back and face the charges for answer, the hacking scandal? Answer this question. How many Why don't you get fired from the Daily Mirror for putting many, out fake stories? How You're a hatchet many, man of the New World Order. Okay. You're a hatchet man. And I want to say this right here. You think you're a tough guy? L have me back with a boxing ring in here, and I'll wear red, white, and blue, and you can wear your Jolly Roger. Okay. You know what? You Let's try again. <laughs> how many gun murders were there? Oh, you're going to ban your fist now? In Britain last year. Uh, how many uh, chimpanzees can dance on the head of a pin? Hmm. I already went over those statistics. Do, do you know the answer? Uh, no, I don't. I, you said hundreds. It's very low. You said hundreds. Yes. It's actually 35. Well, the point is you can... Against 11,000. Do, do you understand hey. the difference between 11,000 Yeah, England and wants 35? to ban knives now because tens of thousands are getting right. stabbed. But do you understand the knives? difference? The knife doesn't a, kill people. Do you the gun doesn't kill people. Yes. Listen, do you understand, do you understand between you're not going to pull on America's heartstrings? They know your script, mm. okay? You're not going to get our guns. By the way, you guys always say, we just want to take the semi-autos, okay, and all this other stuff when semi-autos aren't even, uh, mm. rifles aren't even used, but in a fraction of the crimes, you can mm. pull those numbers up, okay? Uh, well, no, no, which, no, hold which, on. Though, let me ask you one question. Which weapon was predominantly used in the Aurora movie theater shooting? Uh, M4 AR-15 variant. So it was a semi-automatic yes, assault rifle. Again, okay. But next statistically, next, it's very, very next, low. That was. Do you agree? It was the single biggest shooting in the history of America in terms of people hit by a shooter. Do, do you know that? No, I believe that there were others. No, no, been some other no, no, shootings with about over thirty. No, no, this was the single biggest. Mass shooting. Well, listen, you're just by, going. No, there have just, been bombings of Wall me, Street. Let me ask you a second Are question. Are we going to listen? Why can't the let pilots me ask you have a second firearms? Question. Alex, we trust them to fly the planes. Alex, you've had a lot to say. No, just my point is questions. the Second Amendment is sacrosanct, do you know, and you're not getting do you, it. Do you know which weapon was used in the Oregon shopping mall mass shooting recently? I understand that people. Uh, who are mentally ill on all the serotonin you know the, reuptake you know inhibitors who the play question. these shoot 'em up games Alex. want to go out and do this. Alex. Because there's criminals, I don't Alex. lose my rights, Alex. Pierce. Alex. Because there's criminals, Alex. I don't lose my rights. Just answer the question. Yeah. Do you know what the weapon use was? Listen, let me ask you a question. No, no, answer. I've got the FBI Alex. statistics that, listen, no, no. that okay. the so called semi autos that you talk Let's about. Let's take a break. When we come back. Again, you're not going to get our guns. When we come back, try and answer my question. Yeah, all okay. you're going to do is sit there and play little factoid questions. Overall crime yeah, has gone up over 20 percent. More. Back now with Alex Jones, a man who says I should be deported for my stand on guns. So, Alex, here's how this is going to work, and it's entirely down to you. I'm going to ask you some questions. In the spirit of a proper debate, and you've had a lot to say so far on the show, and a lot of it aimed at me, which is fine. But I want you to try and answer the questions. It's a proper debate, okay? I'm not trying to trip you up. No, it's not a debate. You're running the okay. show. You bring in your okay. victims up front. Actually, actually to, no. Look, you got your little note cards. Yeah. Okay. I just gave you FBI statistics Fine. that violent Alex, crime Alex, and gun crime Alex. is down over 20%. Alex, let me just ask you And this. you want to go to little factoids. No, they're not little Anybody factoids. can pull those up. Listen. Do you know what... Do you have a bodyguard? Alex. Why do you have bodyguards? I don't have a bodyguard. Yeah, I've seen you on the news with them. Don't, don't you want to protect your wife from hoodlums or you want to call the police? Let me ask you this question. Why does Diane Feinstein until 60 Alex. minutes that she okay. plans Alex. to try Alex. to take Mr. and Mrs. America's guns. Stop Have you seen that over me. You Let guys me... want to disarm all of America. No, I don't. Diane Feinstein's no, bill does I don't. gun confiscation. No, let me clarify for you. You don't seem to understand First what First you register, then you confiscate. It's no. always done the same. Here's what the campaign on this Well, here, give me your little cue cards no. and I'll answer your questions for what you. What was the weapon used at Sandy Hook? I've already gone over that and already answered it for we you. We haven't talked about Sandy Hook. No, again, what I, was the weapon? it's a 223 M4. Right. Again, but it's statistically, an, right. they're using very low percentage of, ma of right. shootings, but period. Are you, are you but seeing, you guys, are you people seeing a pattern? wouldn't go swimming because the movie Jaws, the biggest, even though great white Alex, sharks kill five people Alex, a year. Alex, you're trying to scare people. Let me say something. There's no metal shark in the water. The same 
type of weapon was used in the last yeah, three that's right. mass shootings. And Hitler used semi-autos to kill people. Why would you and not? so did Mao. Why would you? Why is the government arming to the teeth you, against us? Alex, I don't know. What about Fast and Furious? Alex, Why do our government ship guns into down. Mexico? Alex. To blame the Second Amendment? Let's have a debate. A false flag? Alex. To blame the I Second Amendment? Accused, I get accused. Why are they blow up Building Alex, 7 down the street here Alex, in New York? I get accused when I get you guys on of talking over you of being rude. I'm trying to be civil. Yeah. Right? You've got to try and answer some of the questions, right? Here's my issue for you. Why do people need, civilians, need an AR-15 type assault rifle? Why okay, do you I already said statistically they're used in no, a very low the amount of the crimes. That's an FBI fact. They've been used in the last three mass shootings. Yes, because, why do I'll people tell you need why. Them? Because they advertise it in the media. Anybody knows that if somebody jumps off the Empire State Building, they put cops up there the next day because copycats come to do it again. The media hypes and hypes and hypes. Well, that's the Don't just commit suicide. Alex, why do people Don't need commit them? suicide by killing a bunch of kids. And here's the gun to use because it's the one the U.S. Army uses. Why do people need them? They need them to protect us from the number one killer in history. Mm -hmm. Government in the 20th century university uh, study out of Hawaii killed 292 million people. It's called democide. Google it, folks. Do you believe everyone in demo America should everyone in America yes. therefore have, yes. a, have an AR-15 if they want one? Statistically, where there's more guns, there's lower crime. Mm -hmm. The highest crime is in Bloomberg. Uh, you know, but you have the most controlled guns areas. of any of the 23 richest countries in the world, and you have 20, 20, Well, 11, America was born gun on guns and year. whiskey. Right, but it's you, true we're a violent society. Right. So you but statistically, that has the most knives guns kill three times more. Have you seen the FBI numbers? Mm -hmm. Knives, bats, rocks kill, kill, kill many, many let's times talk, more. Alex, let's talk it's about not the, the guns. It's not the rock. It's not the right. knife. When a mother chops Alex, her kids up with a cleaver because she's on serotonin. Alex, tell me why I'm wrong. Why don't you want to get AR rid of the drugs? Because they're half your sponsors? No, stick to the, to the subject. America's number one cause of unnatural death now is suicide. Okay. Alex, not not automobile accident, not cancer. Not, you listen, accuse me of attacking the Second Amendment of the Constitution. I want to get people off pills that the insert says will Alex, make you commit suicide Alex, and kill people. Alex, Let's get about to the second. I want to blame Alex. the real culprit. Alex. Suicide pills. Alex. Mass murder pills. Okay, let me ask you one question. Your belief, unless I'm wrong. First time anybody's ever heard this, by the way. Your belief, unless I'm wrong, is that under the Second Amendment, your real concern is that you will be overrun by a tyrannical regime, either from somewhere else. Yeah, highway checkpoints. Look at Mexico. Total gun ban for the citizens. Highest crime rate in the world. 57,000 people dead the last five years. Total gun ban for the citizens. But you, your Switzerland main... has the lowest crime rate Alex, in Europe. Alex, your country has Alex, the highest. Alex, we have 35 gun murders a year. You have 11,000. You, you people get Alex, their brains. It's the higher crime Alex, rate. Let me ask Violent you... crime is higher. On this specific... It's brains. Alex, it's people. I'm trying to get inside your brains. Pierce, it's if not you proving punched very me right easy. now, it'd be not your fist, Alex, but your brain that did Alex, it. let me get inside your brain. Okay. Okay? I'm serious. You have a very, very big platform. You air, I think, on 63 networks. No, in the no, that Wikipedia is like 10 years old. I'm on over 140 okay. stations, XM. Millions of Americans hear you. Over a million and a half day. visitors to InfoWars.com right. today. Where we have the statistics audience. posted right okay. now. Okay. InfoWars.com. Who do you believe was behind 9 11? Oh, I absolutely know. I have the police on CNN saying, get back, they're going to blow up seven. I have BBC reporting. No, who do you believe was behind I have the proof. I heard them on CBS who? Radio. Oh, Alex. They announced they blew up the towers on CBS Radio. Who do you believe? New Yorkers all saw it and heard it. Alex, who do you they believe? They blew up Building 7. Alex, who do you believe was behind it? The American government? Criminal elements of the military-industrial complex, the same ones that staged Gulf of Tonkin, mm. the same ones that staged Operation, right. the mass shootings of Operation right. Gladio. Right. Ooh, do you, the CIA do you don't mean, like this Alex, right Alex, now. Do you mean that President Bush and his administration were behind 9-11? <sighs> I mean that even mainstream news reported that the hijackers were ordered to be allowed into the United States. Michael Springman, the head of the visa department, blew the whistle right. on that. So the Bush administration was part of a conspiracy. Well, to he murder, said never let us tolerate to murder, to murder Americans. To murder, um, I can speak in this accent as well. Yeah. The but is that government what you Hitler firebombed his own Reichstag piece mm. to bring in martial law in Germany, mm. April 27th, 1933. Governments have staged terror attacks throughout history or allowed terrorists to attack mm -hmm. as a pretext to invade and enslave the populations. 
I'd, prob I'd probably own more than 50 firearms. Many of them have increased in value two, three, or even four times. I sleep very comfortably uh, outside Austin, okay. Texas, knowing Alex. that I can defend my family. Okay, Alex Jones. This is Infowars.com. This is the man who wants to deport me from the country for wanting to get no, rid of no. assault it's, it's rifles. It's to point out you're a foreigner, a redcoat, here telling us what to do. Whatever. Go back to where they took the guns if you don't like it. The communist...